Hey guys, this is PhoenixPal55, and today in this video, I will be doing a another Minecraft 1.9 uh, update video. And uh, yeah, so this is part two. Uh, and apparently, I missed a lot of stuff um, from a lot of I, I went on a lot of articles and saw saw some other videos, and apparently, I missed a lot of stuff. So yeah, today we're going to be going over that. And the location I've decided to film today actually is at a sand temple, which I found a little bit earlier. So yeah, this is pretty cool. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to review is something else you can do with uh, with shields. So I, I showed you guys shields earlier in the last episode, but now you can combine them with banners to make them your favorite color. So let's, my favorite color is orange, so let's go over here into, oh, yeah, I need a crafting table for this. Let's get out a crafting table, place it down there. Alright, so you go into the crafting table, you take your shield and you put it in the middle, and you take the orange banner and you put it to the side. And there, you have an orange shield, so I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to hold it. So yeah, look at that, that's really cool, it's got like an orange design on it. But that's not the only thing you can do. The, uh, another thing you can do is you can put, let's say I want um, green and a creeper head. So I'm going to go into here, place the shield in the midder, in the mid, midder, middle, combine it with the lime banner, like that. And then put that there, and put the creeper head in, and it should, oh, actually, no, never mind. I think I did it kind of wrong. You need to take just that, the shield, and the, oh, I don't know I'm doing wrong, derp. I need to take a banner first, where's the banner, I'll just use a green banner. And then you put the banner and the creeper head in, and that makes a green creeper banner. So then I place that in with the shield, and it should make a, yep, a green creeper shield. And what, look at this thing. That's really cool. It's going to be running into battle with a with a shield with a creeper on it to mark what Minecraft is and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that back in the chest over here. And the second thing I'm going to show you guys is, so in the last episode, I didn't know how to place these, but I figured it out. So you take this end crystal. These are called end crystals. You take the end crystal. And you go over here, and I made a little podium right here, and you place it right in the middle, and there you go. That is what the end crystal looks like. It's really cool. It's got like some rune letters all over it. It's like swirly. But the best thing is when you when you uh, destroy it, it makes a giant explosion. And oh, uh oh, that broke my my little tower. Okay. So right now is a great time to show you guys something else with the. Um, these things, the chorus flowers. Let me just break that down there and get a ton of these. So yeah, the chorus flowers and the ooh, that, was, that was a creeper. <laughs> the chorus flowers and the chorus plants got an update. Not an update. Um, I didn't know how to place them, so apparently you can place them on this end stone, and eventually, if you leave them for a long time, they'll grow into a big, huge like um, tree, which I showed, which we used to be here until that end crystal exploded. Yeah, so once you break them, they drop these chorus fruits, which you only get in survival mode. You can't get them anywhere in creative. But yeah, so what happens when you eat these things is very surprising. So let's try and eat one. You, uh, you can see what it does. Hold on, that was that was kind of a bad example. Okay, I'm going to eat this. And then I instantly get teleported it's like somewhere nearby. So if you're in battle with something and you really want to get and you really need to get away and you're low health, you can just eat one of those and it teleports you away. Uh, I was hoping I'd get more, but seeing as this thing just exploded twice, um, I don't think I'm gonna get any more uh, fruit out of that. So yeah, that is the coarse fruit. And another thing I'm gonna show you guys is they added some a uh, new splash splash uh, splash potion of water or splash water bottle. So what this does is basically hold on, let me go into Game mode C first here. I'm gonna get out some flint and steel like this. And I go outside here and light a fire. And then so if you have a fire burning right here, I take this flash potion of water, I think I throw it out of the fire and it immediately burns it out. So if you have a huge fire like this going on, you know maybe like a griefer came and made made a huge fire, you can just go like this and go and it just gets all the fire like out like instantly let me just do that again so if i throw one in the middle hopefully it'll get rid of all of it let's see what happens oh it gets it's get rid it gets rid of all the fire around it basically in like um in a like a cross 
Hold on, let me show you. And like a cross radius. So I throw like if I throw light these on fire. Hold on, okay, I can't actually do it. If I light all these crafting tables on fire, it should do it in a cross. There we go. All the fire's gone. So yeah, this is pretty cool if you want to be like a firefighter or something. I'd recommend water better to put out a fire, but if you want to be like a cool firefighter and look really cool throwing stuff everywhere, that'd be something that would be cool to use. So yeah. Next thing I'm going to show you guys, and get that out of my inventory, is over here. So yeah, we did the banners, we did that, we did that, we did that already, which I showed you earlier before it exploded. So yeah. Another thing is that they updated the red stained glass panes. And so basically, now if they're left alone, like on like no kind of um, connection to a block, they stand completely vertical without like any like side sections. Like when you used to be able, when you, when you used to place these, it'd make like a weird cross, but now they're straight up. So let's say I have iron bars and I have two of these. You probably know what I'm going to build. You can now make lightsabers. That is really cool. So if you're making like a really cool adventure map or something, you need something to represent light lightsabers. This is a really, really good idea. I'm place them right there. So yeah. Oh, they're so cool. This they look just like lightsabers, I'd say. So yeah. That's pretty cool. If you want to make some lightsabers or like make a long tower of of uh, red and red or blue or any color of uh, stained glass like going up into the sky, that'd be a good option for you. So yeah, the next thing, this is kind of a small, unnoticeable thing with trapdoors, is that if you place them anywhere, they don't need to be connected to a block. So usually you can't place them unless they're connected to the side of a wall or something. But now if I just go outside where there's no walls at all, let's go to the open space right here, you can just place them anywhere. So yeah, that's, that's even if I break the block underneath. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty annoying when you're trying to make like a pit. Let's say I try to make like a 3x3 three three pit. You can only place them on the sides. So then you have like a one block gap in the middle and that would be so annoying. But now you can just go like this and place one. So yeah, that's really cool. I'm going to put these back in the chest over here, just like that. There and there. And yeah, so I've covered mostly everything. All right, let's go outside. Yeah, we did the we did the tree, we did the plant, we did everything. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys is the Elytra wings. You probably already heard, heard of these, but if you haven't, I'm going to show you. Put some feathers around it. You'll see why I put some feathers in a minute. So I'm going to go outside here, and oh my gosh, this place is trash. There's like <laughs> iron trapdoors over here, and lightsabers over there, and just a random cross of crafting tables and a hole. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to go into my first survival inventory, and how you put these things on is you go into your chest plate section, and you put them on like that, and you see on my skin this little cape. But can you put them on... Nope, you can't put them anywhere else besides here. Alright, so I put them on my chest. I look pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Look at that. Superhero. Super, superhero. Wow. Superhero. <laughs> anyways, I could be Superman. Alright, well, pretty much I am Superman because I can just fly in this game anywhere I want. But yeah, so I'm just going to fly up for a pretty long time once I get to a really high distance. Let's keep going, um, not high enough, alright, I'm going to cut the video until I get pretty high. Alright, so I've flown up pretty high, I, um, I, I set the time to sunset so that we can do it right at sunset, actually I'm going to do it, I'm going to set it back a little bit, time set 13,000 let's say. Alright, right at sunset, let's do this, Elytra is on. Slash game mode zero. Oh, zero. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. I am flying. Whoa. You can see my wings spread out, spread out underneath me like this. This is crazy. Oh, keep gliding. I don't want to hit the ground. Oh my gosh. So if you were like really really high up in the air and you want if you were if you were like falling off and you're gonna fall you just you can just activate these wings and be like whoosh, <laughs> and glide down to safety and I can't actually glide up I just go like this and hit the ground but yeah you can only pretty much glide um, glide down really awesomely but yeah I'm just gonna go up and do that again just because it's so fun let's go to the game mode one and I'll fly back up.
Okay, so I've set up these three uh, golden hoops that I'm going to have to fight, fly through on the Elytra. Let's go. Alright, going down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I missed him. I'm going to try again. Alright, let's go back up over here. Fly up here. I'm going to have to keep trying again until I get this because I pretty much am pretty much um, destined to go through these now. Come on. Alright. One. Oh, I hit it. I hit it and fell off. Dang it. I'm going to keep trying until I get this. <laughs> I seem to be going a little bit too much too much up, so I'm going to have to try to have a good angle. All right. I think it's just better if I will. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One. Two. Oh, no. I made it through two. Okay. Made it through two. Third time's a charm. Let's do this. Go, 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 go. That's one. That's two. Oh, man. That's really hard. And also, I noticed all, actually, while you're flying, you can press shift. Uh, hold on. That wasn't right. You can press shift to, like, change your angle of how you're looking while you're flying. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to just fly this way. I seem to be going too, too much up. So I'm going to have to get at a good angle. Let's do right here. All right. Three, two, one. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. I went through all three hoops. Awesome. Circle back around right on top of this uh, witch. Where's the witch? I'm going to try to dive. Dive bomb the witch. Where did she go? I thought there was a witch somewhere here. Hmm. Where is that? I knew I saw a witch. Here's the witch. I'm gonna try to dive on right on top of her. All right. You're a dead witch. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, witch. I didn't mean it. Hello. <laughs> All right. That's pretty much it for this um this 1.9 video, guys. And to finish off, I'm probably gonna fly um to the sand temple wherever it is. It's over there. Let's fly over there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye! Wait a minute, what did I get? Ooh, Depth Strider, that's cool. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye!